did my intro go? What is up everybody? My name is Rookster and welcome to a long overdue video. Now, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. It's been, God, months? I'll put the date up here if I can remember the last one or I'll just look at the last one I uploaded. A lot's been going on. I'm still alive. Sorry if I just kind of left y'all hanging. I know I moved into a new place. I think I put a tour video up. I'm not sure. Uh, a bit's changed. This is where my TV used to sit. If I did put that video up, I did TikTok for a little bit and just kind of let that go by the wayside. It's, I got a new job. I got this new place. Well, it's not new anymore. I've been here for almost a year. Uh, health wise, I'm doing okay. My foot from the Grom crash two years ago or two and a half years ago. Um, I think I've got a screw coming out of my foot, so that's fun. And it's just, it's been a crazy year, guys. Uh, did KYMM. Uh, there are going to be some highlights of the night before with that. I don't have a lot of the footage from that day up. Sorry, Mac Daddy Moto. Sorry, Illumijashi, Brain Half Cooked, and everybody that was in attendance. I think we had. 20 or 30 people there it was a fantastic ride a fantastic day uh but it's just it like i said it's been a hell of a year and i really haven't gotten back into a groove to where i can make videos uh, now being that i haven't made videos it has been kind of relaxing to say the least to let you know what's going on Kind of, I know some of you have reached out, you know, via Instagram, you know, direct message and all that, um, you know, sliding into them DMs. I know dead memes, but you know, some of you have asked how many Rook's doing. He's doing great, um, not the best, but uh, his mother got custody because of my employment issues, and there's been some things going on there. But I might be able to elaborate on them later. I'm not sure. Other things that have been happening, you know, it's just work's been busy, work's been crazy. I am working in the industry, uh, the motorcycle industry still. Um, I'm not with CC Power Sports anymore because of a lot of um, stuff that I didn't agree with and didn't agree with me. So I left there and I went working for, you know, with photography, um, doing. Um, well, I can say it now, newborn photos, and it was a lot of fun. I was working in the hospital, met a lot of cool people, uh, actually met Montrez Harrell, uh, which was fantastic. It was awesome. I mean, I don't really follow sports all that much, but he was a really cool dude. I mostly, and I've been playing video games and stuff a lot too, but I don't really want to do video game videos. Uh, some people have asked me to do that. I'm not really going to do that. I've been trying to figure out a direction to take my channel. I've thought about taking down a whole lot of older videos, uh, mostly ones with, you know, low view counts and things like that, leaving up the ones that have generated a lot of uh, exposure for the channel and just doing away with the ones that really kind of didn't. But I don't know what direction I want to go in after that. I do want to stay with motorcycles, but in the in the beginning, I wanted my channel to have not a lot of one thing, but Bitch, I'm adorable. Yeah, well, there's that too. I didn't have a, I didn't want to have a lot of just one thing. I wanted to have a lot of different things. Like I wanted to have vlogs. I wanted to have moto vlogs. I wanted to have RC car videos. I wanted to have how-to videos, review videos, video game videos. Um, exploration videos. I wanted to have a whole lot of stuff and I still have a whole lot of stuff on here, but I don't know which, you know, where I want to go. If you all have ideas on where you would like for me to, to go, um, I know some of you have some ideas on where I could go, <laughs> but on where, which direction you would like to see the channel go, I'm open to suggestions. Um, so just kind of you know, let me know in the comments below what you want to what you think you'd like to see uh, from my channel update on the bikes uh, the Grom is doing great the Daytona has a shifting issue uh, I think I've got it narrowed down but I just haven't had the money to fix it yet uh, I think the shift bracket is broken uh, the issue that I'm running into on it is 
Everything is stock performance wise except for the quick shifter that I put in. I put in a Bazaz quick shifter and it's I'm not a, it doesn't click through or too neutral. It just goes just slides right through kind of feels like and also when I'm downshifting it will slip out of gear like it's slipping into neutral but I'm downshifting from like fourth to third so it's kind of weird and it, it really messes you up if you're in the middle of a turn um, let me check this text real quick that was my girlfriend three weeks later um, that's another thing that's been happening is you know I've I met somebody we've been dating spending a lot of time together uh, she is a photographer as well um, I'm not really a photographer anymore. Um, I've just still got all my equipment. But the Daytona, uh, I've got to get it fixed before I really ride her again. Uh, the Grom, like I said, is doing great. I don't know when my next video is going to be up because I'm still not in a, a groove to, to for doing anything scheduled I think I might just put videos up when I'm able to so there could be a couple days in between there could be a couple weeks maybe even like this time months uh, I've actually considered stopping my channel maybe starting another one later but I don't want to do that because coming up with a name for a channel is really really hard um, so yeah there's that yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say, guys. Um, <laughs> it's it's just been, you know, I'd, I'd like to apologize for the lack of content this year. I know I came out strong-willed at the beginning of the year and, you know, s announced all these plans that I had and just completely failed on all of it. Uh, mainly because the the house that I had got foreclosed on a lot sooner than what I had anticipated. I did anticipate it this year, but didn't expect it at the beginning of this year. And the reality of that hit me really, really hard. There was no way I could save my house. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't. The Durango blew up. I have a Civic now, as you saw in my last, I think that was my last video, was the Civic. Um, and so I'm still driving it, fixing it up, trying to keep it running. Got a new door on it. Yeah, I don't know. I know this video is all over the place. You can tell it's been a long time since I have done a video. Uh, I want to give a couple special shout outs to on Instagram. Slays Plays for reaching out all the time, asking me how things are going, um, telling me he wants to see more content. Triumph Bobber on Instagram, you know, you just reached out to me like last week or something. <laughs> Says, I hope you're buried in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for reaching out, and you know, it, it means a lot when you guys reach out and. And, you know ask how things are going uh, the baby Randy uh, he you know reached out thank you for reaching out and you know staying in contact guys it it does mean a lot and you know I still get some comments on the videos and whatnot I think I did get a hate comment too, not too long ago it was funny something about the uh, I forgot I, I even forgot what video it was on it was oh well throttle lock I want to apologize to you for not being able to make it up this year to race um, I'll try to next year Hopefully I can. Um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see. Hopefully I can come up here and actually get my crash on video this time. But um, Thorlock, I'm really sorry, and I appreciate you inviting me up to Thanksgiving this year. Um, it means a lot, Luma Joshi. You've been here. <laughs> We've been hanging out um, every now and then. And Aluma Josh, he's a great friend. Uh, if y'all don't know those those two guys' channels, check them out. They're really great guys. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate all the love and support. 
and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get into a groove and making more videos and stuff. Let's get on to the footage, some of the highlights from the night before KYMM with Brain Half Cooked and Illumijashi. Yeah, it was a fun night and uh, if I find some, if I find the footage from KYMM this year, I'll try to throw that in too. Uh, but I know there's not a whole lot as far as I didn't do a lot of cinematic things. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Much love. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Um, I don't know. Peace. Settle down, but that has changed now. 